this is an introduction to our module map for introduction to power metric modeling which is a CAD based module and this is for a blended delivery which will take part over 12 weeks so as we can see the map itself just to give you a quick introduction to the layout uh, across the top of the map we have a week number going from one, week 1 to week 12 and down on the left hand side we have various uh, rows here the first row being weekly topic the lab based activities that the students would com complete within the lab at a face to face session uh, we have online activities uh, that the students are going to complete online uh, through the, the e-learning platform Moodle uh, our other rows here are the communication or the interaction between the lecturer and student or the student student interaction along the 12 week period and finally the bottom two are assessments so formative assessment and the summative assessments uh, throughout the module so if we just zoom back out here let's take a look at the at the weekly topic so as you can see here uh, there's various weekly topics uh, which are basically building blocks from topic to topic uh, along the length of the module and these all cover the indicative content of the module and uh, achieve the learning outcomes required uh, these are linked really to the to the activities the student activities whether it be lab based activities or online activities uh, as you can see here we'll just take walk through some of the, the lab based activities so we can see here there's first of all there's an introduction uh, to the to the module to the software and to the learning platform which would be Moodle so that, that's re a real face to face activity these lab based activities normally would be a three hour period with the online activities being a one hour so the module currently is a four hour delivery so to move to a blended module it's going to be a three hour lab based and a one hour online uh, or remote uh, activity for a student so back to these lab based activities so moving on from the introduction uh, two week period of exercise one following on to another two week period of exercise two and so on another two week period of exercise three moving on to short exercise four uh, and then moving on to the final exercise five which is spread over four weeks approximately which is a, a, a project so it's kind of a combination of all of the uh, exercises to date if we look at the the online activities basically the online activities are in support of the the face to face or lab based activities so we can see here there's a link between the lab based activity and the online activities on a weekly basis and there's kind of a process flow where after the introductions the students are are sent away and, and they need to read up in preparation for the start of the next exercise uh, and these online activities would always be uh, carried in uh, in, in, in the Moodle environment where a student can log on can read the applicable notes to the to the week that they're in and watch for example YouTube videos uh, explaining the, the theories or explaining the features that they're going to be covering in the in the next module uh, or the next exercise and we can see here some of the online activities are kind of a two-way street where the, the student would be currently in the exercise and in order to have complete the exercise they might have to watch some YouTube videos in order to learn some new uh, methods of modeling or some new commands in the software and it's kind of a, a, a to and fro there where uh, they, they might go over and back between the actually working on, on the exercises and uh, checking out uh, the features of that online. Uh, these videos here might be made up of not just one big long video it might be made up of a, a series or, or, or a, a kind of a, a playlist in, in YouTube that would detail a number of uh, various short videos moving then down to the the lecture student interaction so there's going to be a face-to-face -face session every week except on, on week 10 uh, other methods of communication or interaction will be through IM which is a uh, uh, instant messenger uh, on, on the Moodle platform and also the, a message board as well where the students can, can post questions or queries I suppose the, the difference with the instant messenger is that it would be uh, advertised for a period potentially of 30 40 minutes where the, it'd be a live chat and students can ask questions and, and get feedback instantaneously as opposed to the online message board where they'll post a message and they might have to wait a period of time before that the supervisor or the lecturer gets back to them as well. Uh, other 
interactions would be basically feedback uh, via Moodle, uh, typically through the gradebook, where after a student uh, uploads an exercise and it's marked, they will receive written feedback uh, on the exercise, and they might also receive PDF uh, red pen markups uh, posted back to them, so they can check their drawings and see where they made mistakes or what was uh, Good work done or bad work done. This could also maybe in the form for the three D modeling components of a short YouTube video explaining what what uh, what it could improve on the modeling or whether it would have potentially made some some errors or, or mistakes. So moving on down to the last two, which are the formative and summative assessments. So they again are linked to exercises uh, along the way, and you can see this waiting uh, on each exercise or assessment and. These take on these start pretty pretty quick here. Some online on week uh, two, I suppose, is, is our first instant uh, Moodle quiz where the students will get some playback. Uh, later on, exercise one here is marked at ten percent, so that's coming after the upload and after the completion, and obviously they'll get their, their feedback here uh, after after that's uploaded. And it's the various exercises throughout the full semester. So if we just take a quick look now maybe at an actual process flow and we we'll take an example of exercise two. So if we zoom in here to exercise two, we can see that there's the information already covered here on the various weeks before exercise two. I suppose a precursor of exercise two is that exercise one is completed because it's a building block on to, to complete manufacturing drawings of components already modeled in exercise one. So the student will have already gained uh, good experience modeling some basic basic shapes and now they're, they're moving on to creating manufacturing drawings of those shapes so you can see here uh, prior to this they've already read some online notes in relation to drawing standards that really feeds into the, to the basic drawings they're going to be doing uh, in the face-to-face -face lab session they're going to be get brief on the engineer drawing standards and they're going to obviously cover as well the 2D drawings, manufacturing drawings. So this will feed into the work and done in exercise two. They also are supported by some YouTube tutorials, videos uh, in Moodle that support this exercise two activity. So the videos themselves wouldn't necessarily be a solution video, but there would be supporting features and similar commands that the student would be required to do. They also have the added addition of communication via the instant messenger during, a, again, a period maybe of 30 to 40 minutes uh, around the start of exercise two, uh, external to the face-to-face -face session. And they also have the option later on in, in the second period of the exercise by posting messages uh, and, and getting feedback there as well. So this feedback here is, would be in relation to exercise one that was completed beforehand. They wouldn't get feedback in exercise two until later on, until maybe week six or seven, uh, when they're taking part in exercise three. So this feedback would be as, as soon as possible. Uh, so it would obviously maybe have a positive influence on, on the next exercise. And we can see here, once this work is actually submitted, exercise two is finished, it's normally submitted the week after it's timetable for. So the student would upload that again in Moodle and they would sub submit that exercise and then obviously receive the feedback then once the lecturer has corrected it. So the online activities are directly linked, either uh, have to be a precursor of the exercise, start the exercise, or running in parallel with the exercise and supporting the exercise activities. So. So the module map itself here is basically helping to plan out the, the, the flow of activities throughout the module and making sure that all the indicative content is covered and puts, I suppose, a, 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 an order on the content and so that each new bit of information is is uh, complementing the previous bit of information and that the exercises build on each other and obviously then that the assessments and the feedback are linked to the exercises and that the students receive this information back in a structured and, and timely manner in order to uh, influence their, their next piece of work or their, their next exercise. So that should uh, 
lead to improved activity and improved support for the student as they go through the, the, the module. So that's the break down of the, the module map. Uh, I hope you found that interesting. Thank you.